In the North Bay, the future of San Francisco Bay's only marine lab is in question. San Francisco State's Estuary and Ocean Science Center in Tiburon is closing after 47 years because of a lack of funding and budget cuts. Directors say vital research into the Bay's complex ecosystems is in jeopardy, but they hope a new source of funding will surface to keep the doors open. With the story, here's ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard. There's a lot happening on this remote stretch of Tiburon's northern coastline when it comes to understanding how the bay works beneath the surface. We're the only marine lab on San Francisco Bay, and that is uh, a really neat thing for us because, uh, you know, it gives us a lot of opportunity to study things that other people can't. Things like understanding climate change and sea level rise to restoring eel grass beds and monitoring water quality. But now the Estuary and Ocean Science Center's interim executive director, Catherine Boyer, says that research could come to an end after San Francisco State, which runs the program, recently announced there is no funding to keep it going. Well, that was a surprise. We, we, we didn't actually see it coming with that timing. I think it's hard to be around this place and not be concerned with what's going on. Jeevan Khaki is one of 30 graduate students trying to finish research projects. His involves sea life interactions. It's hard to plan an experiment when you don't know what facilities and what resources you have available to you. Here in the genetics lab, research projects are continuing for now at least, but deadlines are looming and the stress level is building. There's been a rush that I've been given this very hard deadline to finish as fast as possible. Eric Ortiz says a lot of federal funding has been put on pause as well. I mean, I think it's going to be a huge loss, right? Not just for what's happening locally, but there's a lot of different kind of relationships that this lab has with people from all over the world. San Francisco State now facing a $25 million budget deficit. The university says the closure of the center will allow San Francisco State to redirect critical funding into the main campus. How much money do you need to survive here? Well, we're looking for about a million dollars a year. Uh, for the next five years. Boyer says she's actively looking for donors who can help keep the research center open. Information about that is now on the EOS website. She says losing the center would not be good for the future of San Francisco Bay. There's just so many things that we do here that rely on this specific site that will just end. In Tiburon, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.